an account at logmein.com. Open the site, go to the products menu and choose Log Me In Hamachi and then click try it free. This is where you sign up for your account. Use a strong password because once this is set up you don't want someone else accessing the computers in your VPN network and click create account. You don't need to fill in the details in the registration form, click skip. So now you're signed into your new Log Me In account. That was easy. You can set things up here in a few different orders, but I think you'll find it easier if you follow the order that I'm about to show you. First of all, we'll create the VPN network. We'll give it the name Bingola. So click on Create Networks and type in the network name. Choose Gateway as the network type and click Continue. We choose must be approved so nobody can join the network without permission from you, the admin. And to make it extra secure, we require a password to join the network, which should be different to the password to log into the Log Me In account, which we just created. We'll start with the free subscription, and later we can always go back and change it. And we click continue. The gateway computer is the one through which we access all the other devices on the network but we cannot choose it yet because our network is empty. There are no computers in it. So the next thing we do is add a computer to the network. We click on Add Client. We choose Deploy Log Me In Hamachi to Remote Computers and we click Continue. And here is where we create a customized installer. We enter a description. We choose how many times this installer can be used and we choose when it expires and which networks it will be for. Don't forget to tick the box for the network you want. Click continue and you will get a link for your new installer. So we will go ahead and download it by copying the link and pasting it into a new browser tab. This is the computer which we want to be the gateway, and here is the file we just downloaded. I'm going to launch the file and install Hamachi, choosing all the default options. It offers to attach the client to the Log Me In account, which we need to do, so we click Next. And finally we click Install. Don't be confused by the black background. It's still the same computer as before. Hamachi has installed successfully, and by default it gives this computer the same name as it has on the local network, and the name is My Server. And it knows this computer is a member of the Bingola network. And now we need to go to logmein.com again and change some settings. Under My Networks, we can see that My Server is listed as a member of the Bingola network and we need to tell logmein.com that this computer is actually the gateway. To do that we click on the bold edit button which takes us into the settings for the Bingola network. Then we click on add remove members. We choose gateway and save. And you can see the Hamachi software knows that something has changed so it disconnects and reconnects itself. That's normal. Next, let's install Hamachi on the client computer, the one which is going to connect over a VPN to the gateway. For this demonstration, the client is on a virtual machine, so you can see both computers at once. Here's our client computer, and here's the same installer which we downloaded just now. We go through the install process, choosing the default options. The Hamachi program starts and we can see the name of this computer is Client PC. And there's a problem. Account attach error means that it didn't attach to the Log Me In account. If you see this error you need to deal with it because if you don't you cannot manage the client from the website. So in the Hamachi window we choose System and attach to Log Me In account. We enter the account name Make sure Attach Networks is ticked 
and click Attach. For security, the join request has to be approved, so we go back to the website. We look under My Networks, we click on the join request, then we click on Accept and Save. The client gets a message in the system tray to say that the request was approved, but it's still showing that it's not a member of any network. So we go back into the LogMeIn web page to check it. Under My Networks, we find Client PC and click on the Edit button on the same line. And under Networks, we can see that for some reason, Client PC is not a member of the Bingola network. So we tick the box next to Bingola and save. And immediately the gateway computer shows the client in the Hamachi window and the client shows the gateway in the Hamachi window. This shows that both computers are members of the Bingola network. They need to be members of the same Hamachi network to be able to communicate with each other. Wait a few minutes for a proper IP address to appear. If the addresses stay at 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 try rebooting the gateway computer. If that doesn't work, you may need to reset the Hamachi network bridge. For instructions, follow the link on the screen. So far, this demonstration has been on virtual machines. It's easier to use Hamachi on real hardware. So for the rest of the setup, I'm switching to a real computer. So here's Hamachi newly installed on Windows 10. I'm about to set this computer as the gateway in the same way I showed you just now. And as soon as I click Save, the gateway computer looks for an IP address on the local network. It says initializing and then configuring because it's looking for a DHCP server. And finally it shows us an IP address. As you can see this is the IP address for the client computer, not the gateway computer. So what just happened? The DHCP server assigned an address to the gateway but it's not showing us what that address is and then the DHCP server communicated through the gateway to the client computer and assigned the client an address of 192.168.2.106 which you see here. If we want to see the IP address which has been assigned to the gateway computer one way to do it is to open a command prompt and run ipconfig. You'll see why we have two Ethernet adapters listed in a moment. The one which we need to look at is the second one, labelled here Ethernet 2, and you can see it has an IP address of 192.168.2.101. If this computer is one of your servers, you probably want to give it a fixed IP address instead, and to do that we open up network connections in the control panel. Let me explain what we see here. When you install the Hamachi program, it installs a virtual network card. It's the one which says Hamachi with a number after it. Hamachi also installs this network card here. I don't know why. You can just ignore it. This computer is connected to the local network through this physical network card, labelled Ethernet. Both the Hamachi network card and the Ethernet network card are marked as bridged. If you try to make any changes to the network settings in either of those cards, you will see this. This adapter is part of the network bridge. But where's the network bridge which bridges these two networks? In Windows 7, the network bridge is marked bridge, as you would expect. But in Windows 10, it isn't marked bridge at all. It's actually this virtual network card here, marked Ethernet 2, called Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer. When we right click on it and go to Properties, we can see this is the bridge because at the top we see the names of the network cards which are being bridged. So to set a fixed IP address we click on IP version 4 and Properties and we put in the IP information. Normally you will use the same fixed IP address as the one which you have been using for this server on the local network with the same gateway and the same DNS server. When you see this warning message, just click Yes. And we can see that Hamachi knows something has changed, so it resets itself and applies the new IP address. 
let me remind you, this IP address here is for the client computer. How can we know that the IP address of the gateway has really changed? One way is to look at Hamachi on the client computer. So here we see both the gateway and the client computer connected via the internet. Sometimes the client doesn't see the gateway's real IP address, but instead an address starting with 10 dot something. This usually happens when the client is on the same local network as the gateway, but the problem goes away when the client connects to a different network. So here we can see that the client sees the gateway with its new IP address of 192.168.2.30. And if you want to check how good the connection is to the gateway, you can right click on the gateway and ping it. A ping speed of less than 200 milliseconds is very fast. That means you have a very good connection. If the connection speed is 1000 milliseconds or more, or if you see frequent timeouts when you ping, that's not so good and it may make the connection hard to use. Another thing you can test on the client computer is whether you can ping other devices through the gateway. For example, the router, which is 192.168.2.1. You can see from this ping response that we have a fast connection through the gateway to the router. And of course, we can also access the web interface of the router. And we can even try to access a shared folder, which is not on my server, but on a different server on the same network. So basically, using Hamachi on the client computer, you can do all the things which you could do on the local network. The only difference is that the connection is a lot slower. Notice that both Hamachi windows show the number 2 of 5 for the Bingola network. That means that we have Hamachi installed on two computers, the gateway and the client. The gateway counts as just one computer even though you can access any device on the local network through it. The free Hamachi network allows you five computers per network, so you have one gateway and four clients. Let's look back at the LogMeIn website where it tells you what the other options are. If you go to Edit Network and Subscription, you can see a standard network is £19 a year, or about $30. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any feedback, please leave a comment or write to the address on the screen. Thank you.